now we shall uh, discuss simple pendulum and derive the expression for time period of oscillation of a simple pendulum so we are going to discuss simple pendulum Similar pendulum as you all know is very simple in its construction that is why simple pendulum. You have a bob at the end of a light string. Suppose you have this is situation. A rope is suspended from string actually is suspended from a point at the end of which you have a bob. It when displaced one and then left it will oscillate like this. It is going to be an angular SHM because it is going to move in an arc. We are going to derive the expression for time period of oscillation of this simple pendulum. Suppose initially the at an instant position of the bob is like this. This is a vertical direction vertical at an instant bob is at a position which makes an angle theta with the vertical. So this was initial position so I rub this off now it is taken to this point. Now that is the position of the bob at an instant. Since it is an angular SHM, it will undergo an SHM like this. For angular SHM, we need restoring torque to be provided. It should get restoring torque, that bob should have restoring torque for the angular SHM to happen. We are going to see what is the restoring torque here. For that, we shall see which are the forces acting on that bob. The forces acting on the bob are its weight mg acting vertical down one of the forces the second force is the tension acting through the string it is like this these are the only two forces acting which i have marked as t tension and mg as the uh, weight of the bob now out of these two about this point of suspension there is no torque provided by tension because tension passes through the point of suspension so what I can write is torque due to tension equal to 0. The torque is now completely provided by mg. So we have to now find the torque provided by mg which is torque due to the weight of the bob. For that I take L as the length of the string and this is the weight how it is acting. This is the line of action of weight and this is the perpendicular distance from the origin to the line of action of that mg and all of you know that torque due to mg should be mg into perpendicular distance from the origin to the line of action of mg and that distance if this is l this is theta turns out to be equal to l sin theta. So the distance at which mg acts from the point o is l sin theta. So this perpendicular distance can be replaced by mg into l sin theta. So out of the two forces acting only one is providing the torque. So what I can write is restoring torque provided to the bob say tau restoring tau r is equal to tau due to tension plus tau due to mg this is 0 you have mg mgl sin theta so what I am getting is tau r equal to mgl sin theta but tau equal to i alpha all of you know tau is i alpha so i alpha equal to mgl sin theta I get then I get alpha equal to mgl divided by i into sin theta. Now theta very small we will be make, making theta very small such that this remains SHM if theta is very large it won't be SHM theta small we know that for small values of theta sin theta approximately equal to theta. So making theta small I can replace this sin theta by theta so what I get is alpha approximately mgl by i theta or what I get is alpha equal to a constant into theta and that constant is omega square. So we write alpha equal to omega square theta where omega square stands for mgl by i. Now what is i? i for a mass at a distance l from the axis is ml square. So it is mgl by ml square mm cancels 1l remains so it is g by l. So what I get is omega square equal to g by l or what is omega? root of g by l once you have omega as root of g by l time period of oscillation I can write it here t equals 2 pi by omega 
which is 2 pi into root of L by G. Since I have already used T for tension, I will be using time period as T dash. So, I am getting T dash which is the time period of oscillation as 2 pi into root of L by G. So, T dash 2 pi root of L by G. This is a famous equation which you have derived using the restoring torque experienced by the object. So, I repeat when you have a body which is a simple pendulum displaced slightly and left it will undergo similar harmonic motion whose frequency or the time period turns out to be equal to 2 pi into root of L by G. So, time period will be oh sorry frequency will be 1 by 2 pi root of G by L. It is a very important relation which you have to remember.